Why well, don't call me. myself what? Masih just because I anoint Masih. myself so many this times is your, a day? This is your guy. You know what I mean? Masih. He's representing Muhammad Masih. right now. Masih. This is Muhammad at his best. Look, he can throw all This is Muhammad at his worst. Where in the Quran does it say that the word Masa means healer? And where in the Quran does the word Masa mean him who is cleansed? I ask any any Jew here, please come to me and tell me what they think who Isaiah 9 6 is. Isaiah 9 6 is the biggest fraud Christians can ever play. So now let me ask you Muslims a question. Oh, I will, I will. I'll let you. The Quran, this book, calls Jesus the Messiah 11 times. But it never explains why. Not once. <laughs> Why does the Quran call Jesus the Messiah? Go on. Go on. Why do you think he's the Messiah? Why do you think he's the Messiah? So I ask the question. Why does the Quran call Jesus the Messiah? And rather than try to answer the question, the Muslims said it's a dumb question. So in other words, the title that the Quran gives to Jesus is stupid. I agree. The Quran claims a term that it doesn't understand. Tell me, the Messiah. What is a Messiah? The anointed one. And you're waiting for a holy king. When the redeemer comes, he will eventually become the king. There you go. The Messiah is a king yes. who is a redeemer. Yes. Amen. We Christians believe that Christ is king and redeemer. Amen. Tell me why does the Quran call Jesus a Messiah? He will come back. To do what? He will come back. To save us from evil. He will come back, he says. Is that what makes someone a Messiah? They will come back. No. No. A Messiah is not a Messiah because he will come back. I go back to my house every day, but no one calls me a messiah. But my mother does call me a naughty boy. That's a Monty Python reference for those of you that don't know. Let's not. So I'll ask you again, because you said you will answer. Oh, he doesn't want to reply now. Why? Why? He doesn't want to reply. For three weeks, I've asked Muslims this question and they haven't been able to get an answer. Why does the Quran call Jesus the Messiah? Why? Oh, he's not going to answer. It's called running away. Abbas, come here. Abbas. Well done, Abbas. We're going to have a debate with Abbas. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Tell us, Abbas. Why are you laughing? Abbas. I don't want to debate. I don't want to ask. I don't want to answer this question. question. Okay, great. Why Jesus is called Messiah? Let's listen to the answer. Messiah, it has two meanings. One is the one who has the power of healing. And Jesus was, given, Jesus was given the power of healing. Whoever he touched, he healed. Another meaning in Arabic, Masa means the cleansed one. The one who's cleansed. He was cleansed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was without sin. Quran says he was without sin. So that is the, that's why he called Basaya, because he was the cleansed one. Allah cleansed him from all sins and as mentioned in the Quran, he was He's in the Quran. Wait, 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 wait. I'm debating him or you? Oh, you are debating now. Like, you are debating looks now. Looks like, looks like, looks like your people. Your, 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 looks like your minions. Yeah, no, it's all right. He's got, like got it. He's in the debate now. Looks like, looks like your minions don't have faith on you. I answer your question. This is the reason. This is the reason Jesus was called Messiah. There are two reasons. He was cleansed from sins and he touched anything and he healed. Allow me to reply. You, you answer now. Allow me to reply. Okay, I'll, I'll let you reply. So, ladies and gentlemen, now please note, I didn't heckle or interrupt Abbas. Let's see if Abbas can pay me the same courtesy. But what Abbas did just there is what we Christians in the park call the Islamic shuffle. The Islamic shuffle 
is when you take an Arabic word that sounds like a word in another language and you say they are the same thing. Messiah means anointed one. That's what Messiah means. But you didn't hear those words trip from Abbas's mouth because he said the Arabic word. The Arabic word means someone who is cleansed, someone who can heal. But unfortunately for Abbas, I don't think that definition is given anywhere in the Quran. It says that Jesus is called the Messiah, but the Quran, which is supposedly clear guidance, doesn't explain why. But as we heard from our Jewish cousins, Messiah means anointed one. And the Messiah is a redeemer and a king. That was what was prophesied to Judah. That was what was prophesied to David. That is the fulfillment in Jesus Christ. The Muslims are using a term that they don't understand. And why? Because Muhammad used a term that he didn't understand. Because Muhammad was not listening to God but his own deceived heart. Now I'll ask Abbas this question. He has given an answer. We have heard his answer. Cleansed and healer. Show me in the Quran where it says that this is what Messiah means. You ask you for something like, if I ask you, where does it say in the Bible that Jesus says, I am God? You will never be able to show me that he says, I am God. You will bring me to talk Bob, I don't think they have faith on you. <laughs> Can you tell your minions to shut up? Yeah, no, 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 no. Where? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just, okay, just, okay. just, just nice. minions. Nice. You are his disciples. Nice. You are his disciples. Nice. Okay. Whose disciples are you? Jesus! Stop lying about us. My Jew brother here. Do you understand? Do you accept the Messiah definition of Messiah as a Christian okay, so saying the, the Redeemer and a King? The Redeemer and the King. Yes. And and, and the Divine as well. They believe in Divine. So to you, what is Messiah? Is it a prophet? The word was the definition of the word. No, no, Messiah. The Messiah. Messiah what is the Messiah? The that is the himself. question at hand. Will he be a prophet of God or will he be a Divine God? And right now, Abbas is in trouble, and he knows it. That is what the understanding of Messiah is. So what, what do you, when, when you say anointed, anointed of what? When Who are you debating? Him, them or me? Because you were asking him as well. So is, is this only fair anointed if I ask him the meaning of the anointed? What do you mean by anointed? Anointed, anointed, means anointed of what? Anointed means have oil based on oil. Why, why? Same anointed of what? Anointed. Anointed. Bob. Uh, oh, oh, the brother, one second. Yeah, you come uh, anointed, anointed. anointed the word means having oh. oil placed on you. Bob, as part of the... No, why? Why did that happen? Question. Because that's what is the reason? Yeah. Abbas! So Abbas has run away from the discussion. Abbas was asked a question and the question was what does the Quran say is the reason to call Jesus the Messiah and because the Quran is silent about this question Abbas has run away from the question so let's give Abbas another chance answer the question Abbas or I will just talk myself I was talking to him because I find his understanding and meaning of Messiah is more honest than yours because you are a Trinitarian and you are, you are Islamophobe as well so I want to know from him but, but, but to you well done. What? It's in the Quran. I, I can show you the verses. Show the me. No, no. That, that Jesus was sinless. What do you want to see? Islam believed that Jesus, Jesus, no, no. Believe that Jesus healed whoever he touched, he healed. And Jesus was sinless because his, his grandmother prayed for Mary and her descendants That's to right. be free from That's Satan's right. sin. So That's her right. prayer was answered and according to Hadith, Jesus and his mother were sinless. So there's the meaning and understanding is there that Jesus was sinless. And as I said, Arabic word Messiah, Masa, if you go to Arabic lexicons, you will see, you will see it means cleanse. So you need to you need to understand the meaning from the word. Arabic word Messiah comes from Masa, which can also mean cleanse. So Jesus was cleansed from sins and Jesus was well, he whoever world, he touched, he, he healed. 
So this is what, why he was called Messiah, and this is the Islamic understanding I gave you. Now whatever you want to play, uh, whatever show you are, are you doing around us? here. Are you done? I mean, yeah. No, the, you play the word game here. You know, you just use words. Exactly. You, exactly. Yeah. Well done. Uh, well done. That's true. You Abbas, are you done? That's shot. true. Yeah. So that's okay. what I'm meaning. So allow me, allow me to reply to Abbas. Because I asked Abbas to show me in the Quran where it says that Jesus is called the Messiah because he can heal and because he is sinless. But please note the Islamic shuffle. He's used the Arabic word Masa and then Muslims falsely translate this as Messiah. That is not the same word. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, what the English word is for cleansed? It's cleansed. Do you know what the English word is for healer? It's healer. It's not Messiah. Messiah means anointed. Don't get close, mate. What do you mean, don't get close? I'm talking into the microphone. Notice, notice, the Muslims are behaving like their false prophets. The Dean has failed them. They follow a rubbish prophet, and so they have rubbish character. They follow a disgraceful prophet, and so they behave disgracefully. What? Who's my teacher? You don't know nothing. Why are you talking? Why are you talking? No, Why are you talking? They are triggered, but they don't have any answer. You can't talk. You can't talk. They have no answer. No. No. Who's got no. an answer? You're scared no of the answer. answer. Look, he's scared of the answer. He knows. I, heard, I was talking I to others. I gave the answer. This is your fifth job. Masa doesn't translate job, into it. English as Messiah. No, it's, it's, a it's a lie. It's a lie. Masa is meaning rub. Doesn't, doesn't mean, doesn't mean Messiah. What does Messiah mean in English? What does Messiah mean in English? What does Messiah mean in English? Anointed. Doesn't Massa mean anointed. doesn't mean anointed. By your own Listen, words. So Muslims are lying in the way they translate the Quran. Muslims are lying in the way they translate their Quran. Which is not translated as Messiah. Moses, I mean Isa. How do you translate healer into English? He anoints himself five times a day. He prays to God. Massa translated into English means healer. And he prays to all the prophets, words, yeah, many the times a day, every time so we anoint ourselves. I don't call meaning. myself what? Messiah just because I anoint See? myself so many this times is your, a day. This is your guy. You know what I mean? Masih, He's representing Muhammad right now. Masih, this is Muhammad, Muhammad at his best. Look, he can throw all the accusations. At you can throw all the accusations you want. None of what? that is This is a good Muslim. You are a good Muslim. I don't, don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. What you say. You're being Bob, better than Muhammad. I don't care you're what you say. You know that. No, I Jesus. don't care. How, How do you do translate? No, no, no. He's the question. Do you call not. people dogs? The question. Jesus calls people not. dogs. Do you call people dogs? Yes, I do. He's, he's a dog. He does. He does. He's a dog. All Gentiles. Jesus calls people dogs. This is a barking dog. We've got a poodle right here. Do you all Gentiles are dogs? Right. Don't change the subject. 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 You can't even have a Master, by your words, when Jesus went about, Abbas, Abbas, Muhammad, Abbas, Jesus you're running, you're running, you're running, Muhammad is the you're running Abbas. Don't say I'm better than you're running, you are better than Muhammad. He's behaving I'm like Muhammad. You're behaving Muhammad. like a good Who are you to talk? talk? Who are you to talk? I'm talking. Bob, I don't care you're talking. I already You don't care that he's talking either. I don't care that you're talking. Or him. Listen. Or him. This is your last chance. Is this Muslim brotherhood? This is your last chance. Is this Muslim brotherhood? I've been patient. I've been very patient with you. Muslim brotherhood. Very patient. Let them like it. Muslim brotherhood. I want them to like it. The Sunnis call the Shia Iraq. 
Yes. Yes. And the CSO over the to student listen. in Hyde Park. I want you to listen. Oh, if you ask a question you're not, yes, yeah. and you're not willing to Sunni give your Muslim. answer, Muslim. then you should yeah, listen. So you accept the imam. You should listen to the answer. So you accept the imam. Listen. So you accept the imam. You accept the imams? He's a Muslim. Yeah, of course imams. Yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, so you accept the imams <laughs> and Abu Bakr? Imam well done. Jafar, Abu Bakr, Umar, I accept all of them. Interesting mix. I'm a Muslim. Because Interesting mix. I'm going to leave. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sunni. If you Quran, accept them both, that's fine. But now let's come I, back I, to I, the debate. I accept all of them. Now let's come back to I'm the debate. I'm debating with you. I answer let, your Let's just step away from this guy. Abbas, 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 come here. You said, right, without any prompting from me, you said, right, you said, you said, I asked you what Messiah meant, and you translated, without anything from me, you translated it as one who is healer and one who is stainless, sinless. That's how you translated it. So Massa, if it was going to be translated into English accurately, would be translated as healer or sinless. But the Muslims translate it as, one second, Muslims translate it as Messiah. But Messiah in English means anointed one. So Muslims have mistranslated the Arabic to curry favor with Christians. It, it doesn't say anointed, no, no, no. Muslim never translate as anointed. Like for example, That's Allah. what Messiah means in English. For example, I tell you, for example, Allah. No, it doesn't. Allah in Arabic. Stop bringing people into this. This is between me and Abbas. Allah in Arabic means the God. But we never translate Allah as the God. We always write Allah as Allah. So same way, Messiah, since he was given title by God, so in respect, Muslim did not translate as anointed or uh, cleansed. So we leave that title as Allah has given him title. So we leave it as Messiah. But what I'm telling you, if you go to Arab, Arab, Arabic lexicon, Messiah comes from three words. Ma, ma, Masa, not Masa. Messiah, Masa. No, 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 the Messiah, the word. Word. Arabic, Messiah, that's a Hebrew word, not an Arabic word. Are we going to an Arabic lexicon or a Hebrew one? The Hebrew, Arabic, Aramaic, they are He's wanted. Hebrew, he knows Hebrew, he know. says it's anointed, no, we no. say it's anointed. Do you You're know? using an uh, Arabic word called Massa, how you say it? which is how not you Messiah. Say, how is a prophet in uh, Hebrew? No. No. Prophet. Nobi. No. 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 But not Nabi Yim. You don't call Nabi Yim. No. Okay. So in, in okay, you said you said Nabi. We Arabic said Nabi. You say so not the same word. How is a book? Same word. Safe. Nabi, Nabi. You say kutub, kutab. is is writing. Book yeah, yeah. Is safe. Well, how is it writing? It's just book? said book is safer. Well, I, I, just I, said I, have, I have read Hebrew. You say kutub. No, you read a Muslim book no, 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 no. misusing no, no, no. Hebrew is, words. What That's is, what you read. No, no, no. Brother, brother, be honest. What is Kutubim? Wait, Abbas, debate me, Abbas. You see, look, look what, he, what he's doing. Kutubim is books. Right. So then, same way but what Arabic. does Messiah mean? Anointed one, correct? Well, talking over me. I'm trying to get into no, no, no. Yes, he does. I'm getting to the. I'm getting to. I'm getting to a point here. There are many, there are many words in Arabic, Hebrew, and Aramaic. They are very similar words. So Messiah in Hebrew, in Arabic, is the same word. They are sister languages. So I, I told you how what it means in Arabic. In Arabic, it does mean come from three words: Masa, Mim, Sa, Ain, Masa, which means cleanse. Which also which doesn't say healing, healer, you say anointed. Oh, so it's we, not cleansed. It's changed no, no, now. No, it's cleanse. not cleansed. No, no, I say it's cleanse. not cleansed. I say cleanse. Oh, it does mean cleansed no, now. I didn't say cleansed, but I didn't say healer. I didn't say he said meaning. You said he's healer. called the Messiah because he heals. That's what you said. No, I said two meanings. I said two meanings. Yes, so two, two, two meanings. One because he heals. To this one word. One means he heals. Yeah. The other one because he was cleansed from all the sins. Abbas, can I reply to this? Because yeah. I've heard no, no, this no, point no. now. No, no. Go on, finish no, your point. No, land, bro. So land. What, what I'm saying is we see the character of Jesus in, in the Quran. He touched people, he healed people. And he was also sinless. So that was the reason Allah has given this, this title Messiah. So this is the, the answer. You like it or not like so it? So let, let me, let, let, let me reply. Abbas yeah. literally just played games. Okay. Prove me he wrong. Po Firstly, he searched for words that our Jewish cousin didn't want to give him and gave him different words. But let's just assume that his analogy is correct. Okay. That there's an Arabic word that sounds very similar to the Hebrew word yeah. and they both mean the same thing. Okay, okay we give him that. That's true in some cases. Sorry, sir, please. Hold on a second. He gave the definition of Masa from an Arabic lexicon, which meant someone who was a healer and someone who was sinless. Well, there's a way to translate healer and sinless into English. It's the words healer and the words sinless. 
You don't translate the words healer and sinless into English by using the English word Messiah because we have taken that word from the Hebrew. Like the mongrel language English is, we just suck in everyone else's words. It's kind of what it means to be English. So, all languages do that. But Messiah means anointed one. And Massa, by Abbas's own definition, does not mean anointed one. And so, it is not the case that this word is being accurately translated. The Muslims are abusing the word. Why? Because they are trying to curry favor with Christians. They are deceiving Muslims and they are deceiving Christians by calling Jesus the Messiah. The Messiah means anointed one. Massa does not mean anointed one by his own words using an Arabic lexicon. Now, it goes a bit deeper than that. Goes a bit deeper. Why does Muhammad do this? Because Muhammad was using Arabic words to curry favor amongst Arab Christians. And he did it wrongly. He did it wrongly. Because he doesn't understand what the Messiah is. The Messiah is a king and a redeemer. And I would take up the Jews about him being a divine figure. I would do that. Maybe me and you can have a separate conversation. But, one second. But, what me and the Jews agree upon is that the Messiah is a king and a redeemer. What me and the Jews and the Muslims don't agree upon was that Jesus was a king and a redeemer. Because as a Christian, I believe that Jesus was a king and a redeemer. But the Jews today don't believe that, except for those who are Christians. And the Muslims don't believe that Jesus was a king or a redeemer. So no matter how we use the word Messiah, whether we mean anointed one, whether we mean king, whether we mean redeemer, you can't use the word about Jesus like that from the Quran. I'll ask Abbas again. Show me, show me in the Quran where it explains the term Messiah. That's what I want to hear from the Quran. Why is he called Massa? You see what you're asking me, but you're not doing to yourself. You're not showing me from the Bible. It's saying the Messiah means the king. Messiah means the redeemer. It doesn't. Messiah is the title, but that title, the, the one who was given this title, what was his qualities? According to you, he was a redeemer, he was a king. So what we're saying is, when Messiah the title was given, what was his qualities? He was cleansed from sins, and he, whoever he touched, he healed. And when we go to even the root word Messiah in Arabic, which means the cleansed one. Cleanse of what? Now you keep saying anointed. Tell me what anointed means. Why he was anointed? What anointed signifies? What it means? Does it mean that he was cleansed from his past life to the new life now he is a dedicated servant to God and he is not going to make any mistake and he is going to be a sinless and who are everybody going to follow him? What anointed means? A monarch so, uh, is anointed. I, I, brother, brother, please, please. Yeah, why a uh, monarch is anointed? We but, wanted to have this debate. Let him talk. Somebody who is anointed by God, according to Islam, Masai, Messiah, he was Messiah because he was anointed by God. So when he was anointed by God, whatever he touched, he heals. And he has no sin in him. That is the answer and that's the understanding we have. And when we look what's the characteristic of Messiah in the Quran, that's the answer you're going to get. He was a sinless and he healed everybody. And you keep saying why he's not translated as cleansed in English. Because that was the title. We do not translate the titles. Like Allah is the title, we don't translate his title. So Messiah, we do not translate. But if you go to the Arabic, that's the meaning you will find. You are scraping into it. You want to find out the answer. You got the answer, but you're looking more than that. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have more than that. You're, you're forcing your viewpoint into Islam. Okay. This is what Islamic point of view is. So let, let, me, let me just address this. So the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, when you read through the Old Testament, and this is one of the proofs that I would offer to Abbas and to every Muslim who watches this video, as why the Old Testament is a safe text, not a corrupted text, is because there is a theme that travels through all the books of the Old Testament 
talking about a coming figure. And this theme occurs again and again and again. And if it was corrupted, as the Muslims claim that it was, they would have to demonstrate that a single authority with a single agenda at one time in history had complete control over every copy of every text of the Old Testament that we have. And he can't do that. But what are the prophecies of the Old Testament? Abbas, I didn't interrupt you. I will start to interrupt you if you interrupt me. You know how this works. So, when we look at the Old Testament, let me just give you a purview, okay. a, a brief run over some of these prophecies. Uncle Asif, please, we've wanted this debate. Let Abbas. So, in Genesis, we have the Proto Evangelion, a promise given to Mary that by the seed of Mary, one would come who would stamp on the servant, stamp on the serpent, and the serpent would bite his heel. That from the seed, of a woman, not a, man. not a man, a woman, a woman that that seed would crush the curse given by the serpent, which was the spiritual death you see in Genesis. Then we have the promise that through Abraham, a covenant would be established and through his son, Isaac, a nation would be established and through their descendant, Judas, a king would be established who would be the king of Israel and the king of the world. We see this prophecy reaffirmed at the time of David. We see after the fall of the David kingdom, prophecies in Isaiah like this one, speaking of the coming Messiah. And it says this. Are we talking or are we uh, preaching here? One second, Abbas, I did not interrupt you. Going, you. If you want to start doing it timed, we no, no, can. No, no, going, Abbas, I'm going to start interrupting you now. I'm going to start interrupting you. I am not, I'm going to... Abbas, I'm going to interrupt you going forward. Sadly, this happens every time I debate Abbas. Every time I debate Abbas, he gets triggered, and then he starts to interrupt, and then I have to give him a five-minute lecture about manners before I can finish my point. Abbas, let me finish my point Abbas. You. You no so manner. ladies and you gentlemen, man. listen, you listen, you Abbas is running away purpose. because he doesn't I want me to get the prophecy. Here's the prophecy. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. Those who live in a dark land, the light will shine on them. You shall multiply the nation. You shall increase their gladness. They will be glad in your presence as with the gladness of harvest, as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For you shall break the yoke of their burden and the staff on their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor as at the battle of Midian. For every boot of the booted warrior in battle tumult, the cloak rolled in blood will be the burning fuel for the fire. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. These are the titles of Jesus, and he is called Mighty God. The Messiah is divine. Now Abbas will talk about the Eternal Father. I'll get to that when he does. But here is a prophecy about the Messiah being a king. The Quranic Jesus was not a king. And here is a prophecy about the Messiah being God. The, the Messiah of the Quran is not God. And he has still not answered my question. So I'll ask for the fourth time now. Where in the Quran does it say that the word Massa means healer? And where in the Quran does the word Massa mean him who is cleansed? Show me. Well, anyway, this is uh, preaching here again. Uh, first he lied. He says uh, God promised Abraham and Isaac and their descendants the land. This is a lie. In the Bible, God says to Abraham, I have given this land to your descendants, not Isaac, Abraham's descendants. Is Ishmael is not a descendant of Abraham? Of course he is. Is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not from Ishmael? Yes, he is. And what was the land given to Abraham and his descendants? The land from the river of Egypt, Nile, to Euphrates. That was the promise given to Abraham. And now you see between Euphrates and Nile, what comes in between that? Arabia, 
Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Iraq, it's all in that land. Who are ruling? So, so one so second. Have, why, why, why you guys are talking? Why are you talking over me? Why are you talking over me? Oh wait, when he was talking over me, it was fine. But now someone's talking over him, he's upset about it. Do you see the hypocrisy that Abbas demonstrates week in, week out? Because you and me talking, they didn't... Oh no, now you want people not to interrupt. No, no, no. But you interrupted me, Abbas. I'm asking you. But you interrupted I'm, I'm, I'm me, Abbas. I'm complaining to you. I'm saying... You can't why? lecture no, no, anyone. I'm not complaining to you. I'm saying why they are interrupting. So he lied. Secondly, he quoted Isaiah 9-6. What a lie. I ask any, any Jew here, please come to me and tell me what they think who Isaiah 9-6 is. Isaiah 9-6 is the biggest fraud Christians can ever play. Because if you read Isaiah 9-6, that is talking about the person in the past, not in the future. He's talking about the child is given. Unto it's us. the past. It is not, it, us, it's not future. Is if, if you don't believe me, go and ask. Wonderful. What, is, what is your problem, guys? Do you, have, you, don't, you don't have faith in him? Everlasting he can't, he can't answer me. He can't answer me. Isaiah 9-6, please, for God's sake. Go and read Isaiah 9-6 yourself. Every term. Abbas, are you finished? No, I'm not finished yet. Why Look, they're talking over me. I'm not finished well, yet. Well, you interrupted me, Abbas. I'm not finished yet. Why are you complaining? I'm not finished yet. Why are you complaining? I'm not finished yet. Why are you complaining? I'm not finished yet. People are treating you like you treat me. What's up with that? You're happy with that, right? I'm not finished yet. Isaiah 9-6 is the biggest lie Christians ever played. He's talking about the man in the past. And who was in the past? Who's in the past? He's the, I'm giving the name. His name, his name is King Hezekiah. He's, no. the, he's one of the... No. Lie. He's one of the greatest. Lie. He's one of the greatest Lie. kings Israel ever Lie. ever seen, and because of him, nearly hundred thousand enemies, the pagan came to attack, and he and he prayed to Lie. God. Abbas, God. Abbas, you're just preaching now. No, I'm sorry, Abbas. You know, you've gone off topic. The topic, the topic is why. This Abbas, why is it every time that we have a debate, it, it descends into a shouting match? No, you interrupted me, Abbas. You interrupted me, Abbas. Make your point. Make your point land, because I'm going to come in. I'm making a point. That guy... Let, let him, let him finish future, now, guys. Let Hezekiah, him finish. And Hezekiah, if you see the Hebrew, Hebrew meaning of Hezekiah, you know what the meaning is? The mighty king. That is the meaning of Hezekiah in Hebrew, the mighty king. So that is nothing to do with Jesus. That is a prophecy. Okay, of allow me to finish. Yeah. Okay, allow me to and reply. I, and Abbas, gonna, and I'm allow gonna, me to reply. Yeah, yeah, I'm finishing now. So Abbas, I'm finished, I'm finished. Abbas lied, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to this. This is the promise that was given according to Genesis. Listen. No, he's interrupting again. What a surprise. What a surprise. This is the promise given in Genesis. This is the promise given in Genesis. And he's running away. What a surprise. Because Abbas said that it was the son Ishmael and Isaac. But listen to what was promised in Genesis. These were the visitations upon Abraham when God promised a son. And listen to what he says. Then they said to him, then they said to him, where is Sarah, your wife? Everyone say Sarah. Sarah. And he said, they're in the tent. He said, I will surely return to you at this time next year. And behold, Sarah, your wife. Everyone say Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, your wife, will have a son. And who was the son of Sarah? Isaac. The son of Sarah was Isaac. Isaac. The promise was given to Isaac. Listen what it says in Genesis 21. Then the Lord took note of Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah as he had promised. So Sarah conceived and bore a son to Abraham in his old age at the appointed time of which God had spoken to him. Abraham called the name of his son who was born to him, whom Sarah bore to him, Isaac. So Isaac is the son of the covenant. And if Isaac is the son of the covenant, then that means that the descendants of Ishmael are not the sons of the covenant. Yes, God blessed Ishmael. We don't deny that. Ishmael had 12 princes as sons. So they became a mighty nation, as God had promised. But that's not the same as the son of the covenant. 
which means that the line of the Messiah goes from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah, David, Jesus Christ. That is the promised Messiah. Abbas ran away because he had run out of bullets. Notice, he never answered the question I asked. What was the question? Where in the Quran does it give the definition of the word Masa? Muhammad referred to a lexicon. The lexicon said redeem, uh, sorry, lexicon said cleansed, and it says healer for Masa. Well, that is not how you translate that into English. The correct translation of the Arabic Masa into English is cleansed healer. I have just improved the translation of the Quran. But the Quran is translated deceptively as Messiah. Why? Because the Muslims are trying to deceive the Christians. The word Messiah in English means exactly the same as it means in Hebrew because we're using exactly the same word. It means anointed one. And the Jews were referring to anointed king and an anointed redeemer. But we Christians believe slightly more than this. We believe that this anointed redeemer, that this anointed king is also divine. And let me show you why we believe that. A prophecy of the Messiah can be found in Daniel 7 verse 13, 14 up to 15. It reads as follows, and Jesus himself refers to this passage as referring to himself. I kept looking in the night visions, and behold, in the clouds of heaven, one like the Son of Man was coming, and he came up to the Ancient of Days, and was presented before him, and to him was given dominion, glory, and a kingdom, that all the people's nations and men of every language might serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. Everyone say everlasting. everlasting. How can you have an everlasting dominion unless you are divine? The Messiah is a divine redeemer and king. And if Jesus is the Messiah, we don't need Muhammad. Cool. So guys, thank you for listening. I'm going to lower my voice, we're going to reorientate ourselves, and then I'm going to move on to another topic.